Hello, welcome. Pause the video, read the problem, try it out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told that a sine function increasing through the origin can be used to model light waves. All right, so let's just sketch that out right away. We've got my y-axis. Let's do better than that. Let's, let's do, let's use our line tool here. Let's say we have our y-axis and our x-axis, right? And our sine wave is increasing through the origin. So this is our origin right here. And the sine wave is going to look something like this. All right. And it's going to cross, right? They tell us right here, oops, they tell us that it has a wavelength of 400 nanometers. So here, that means one complete cycle of the wavelength would be 400. And then sine also has this beautiful symmetry. It's zero halfway between the origin and where it completes its cycle. So it'll be zero at 200 nanometers. Halfway between 200 and 400, this halfway point at 300, it'll be at a minimum, right? The sine wave exhibits this symmetry. Between zero and 200 is 100, and what the sine wave does at that halfway point is it reaches a maximum. The sine wave, regardless of the parameters, follows this general shape, so that once we know that it reaches 400, um, a cycle and 400 nanometers, we can then mark off all these landmarks and answer this question. Here they're asking us which interval is the height of the wave decreasing only. So decreasing only. So at, if I look at this, I see it. here's 100. I know it's decreasing from 100 to 300 here. All right, so in that interval, it's decreasing. What do I have that's closest to it? Well, zero through 200 is not gonna work because that increases and then decreases. 100 to 300, there it is. It's our decreasing interval. But let's just check the rest. 200 to 400, well, it goes decreasing and then it's increasing, so it's not gonna work. And then 300 to 400 is an increasing only interval. So that's not gonna work as well. So here the answer is choice two. Thank you.